some food for thought this morning, right? Let's pretend for a minute that you got a journey you have to take. There's a path in front of you that you have to walk on, right? It can't be avoided. Now, on this path, there are traps, there are snares set up to hurt you, to entangle you, to kill you even, right? There are also people set up along the way, some to help you, but the majority of them to test you or to try to get you to go off the path or to try to get you from finishing the path, right? There's people and even things like say, for example, social media, alcohol, drugs, distractions, half naked, tempting women or, or even men that will distract you from finishing the journey, right? Now let's pretend that you have a map in front of you laid out with all the traps how to get around the traps, how to discern which people are set up to hurt you, which are set up to help you. It's a map that's made for you to finish the journey and make it to the kingdom, right? What, what are you doing with that map? Are you setting it off to the side? Are you never looking at it? Are you only listening to it on Sundays or on Shabbat, right? Or are you using it every day in order to navigate through the path on a daily basis. See, a lot of us get caught up in the ways of the world and forget that the map is the only way to guide us on that journey, down that path that we have to walk in order to avoid these snares that are out here, especially in these last days. So most I willing, this will reach at least one of y'all. So have a productive day. Shalom.